think we're live. Good. Okay. Hi, thank you, and welcome for joining. No. Hi, welcome, and thank you for joining. That's the right way around. <laughs> okay. If you're here watching the replay, you're getting out of the game. So first of all, I just want to say breathe, get present. This is going to be an interesting conversation. I may say that again in a moment when more people join in. So, um... My name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. This is number 76 in an ongoing series of talks to inspire masculine, feminine people and to have a um, lively conversation, perhaps, or certainly an entertaining share, if nothing else. So, thanks for being here. Welcome. Um, I'll get to the topic in a moment. But first, I'll give you my name information so that when more people join in who missed that, they can go back and watch the replay. My name is Barry Selby. I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine and help strong successful women find balance in love life and business I'm also a best-selling author and speaker and I'm doing an ongoing series or I should say I'm embracing and expressing an ongoing series of talks 10 20 minute talks about love and relationships helping men and women understand each other better to inspire women to live more in the feminine and a whole lot more it's number 76 in a series and this one um, <laughs> has been bugging me for a while so I had to do it so this is, ladies, um, this is some clues and some ideas about the right ways and the wrong ways to use online dating and, and smartphone apps for dating. Um, and it's funny, I was thinking about that title first and then I was riding my bike a little bit earlier and rode by these two girls, guessing 20, 21, 22, something like that. And as I was riding down the street, I just looked over to my left and saw this girl like posing with her hair up and her hand back behind, I was coming from behind her, with a friend behind her with her phone taking a picture. I'm thinking it's probably for Instagram, not for a dating app, but the thing is, that spoke volumes. Because now I know most people watching this are probably not young girls in their early 20s looking for dates and looking to get laid. Yes, some of the girls seem to be doing that as a primary focus. Um, and I'm also not coming from the place of being conservative or being prim because I'm so about women owning their sexuality and sensuality and being much in touch with who they are in the feminine place, but it's this little fine line, perhaps, this line that they walk, in, in especially in the dating arena, um, that puts them in a certain place of visibility. So I want to speak to some ideas and some thoughts that, one, are be constructive, and two, might be more philosophical about how women can most represent themselves in the online dating arena. Before I get to that, um, if you are watching the replay, if you're watching live, first of all, thank you for being here and watching. Um, I invite you to remember that these talks I give are intended to support you. However you get information from them, value from them, you share them out to your friends, however you do that, the bottom line is I want to make sure you hear from me that you deserve love, you deserve the most amazing relationships, and I want to help you with that, regardless of whether you work with me or just watch my videos or just see my posts or even just take these words to heart. You deserve the best in love and relationship. And we are all valuable. We are all worthy of love, period, because we are love. So that was my download, like, in-your-face reminder. So getting to the topic. If you've watched my previous broadcast, you know that I'm very passionate about this topic. And in particular, one of the things I'm very clear about and adamant about for you ladies out there is that your power is in the ability to attract what you want. So bearing that one piece in mind, that key piece of information, let's look at how you might be um, expressing and not expressing that when you go on the dating apps. The online dating apps, well, let me, let me, sorry, let me rewind a bit a second. Philosophically speaking, the online dating sites and the smartphone dating apps are built for men 90% of them in fact if not all of them because what they're set up for is a mind that is hunting that is searching that is seeking out which is a masculine modality the majority of men are in the masculine the majority of women turn towards the feminine so ladies if you use the dating app like the men are you're putting yourself into your masculine because you're now hunting when you do that you're going to basically be pursuing the men. Now, most men might say, that's cool, she can chase me down, it's fine, I'm certainly welcoming her to come find me. No. I did that three times. Well, I didn't do it intentionally, but I did it definitely overtly once out of three times. 
But what happens, ladies, when you go out there on this, well, when you go in there to the apps or other sites and you go looking for the men, you come uh, perusing the profiles, looking for possible dates and um, looks, you're in the hunting mode. You're not allowing a man to pursue you, you're actually chasing him. And what happens is you're going to generally attract one of three types of men. I've shared this before, but I'll share it again here because it's relevant to this point. When you are courting the man, chasing him down, you either um, evict him from the role of the masculine and take over that space because you're in your masculine, and he will basically vacate the role happily and move to his feminine and be in the place where he goes, whatever you want, honey. You decide, you make decisions, you choose. I'm just gonna sit here and watch as the man. I'll just let you take, a, take control, take charge. Now for most women, that sucks. Now if that's naturally your residence, that's fine. But most women aren't in that place. And most women, frankly, want to find a man who can take them out of that role so they can relax. But I ain't finished yet. That's number one of three. The second type of man you will likely attract if you go pursuing is a man who basically is um, competitive and likes to fence with you and dance with you, which can be fun, except that he will continue to compete with you forever. So he will have this competitive energy where they'll be banging heads and like do this, it's almost like a, like a wrestling match, which, which can be fine in the bedroom once in a while, but it's not for a healthy relationship. It's a competitive like dance back and forward where nobody really wins. The third type, which is the, my personal least favorite of the three options, is the sort of man you will find when you're out in the dating arena is the man who will, once he gets to know you, once he starts to court you, or once you start to court him, that when you do ask him out, he will do his best to um, dominate you in a negative way. He'll actually, in fact, try to, to um, remove you from the role of leadership and to diminish your role in life because he has to be in charge. He's the man, he's gonna be in charge. That's not healthy either. Those are the three choices you do not want. I think you've got the point about pursuing doesn't work. So what else do you, what else do, you do? Well, the key um, role, if it were, is to be visible on dating sites so you can be found by the men because the men are the hunters. We are the ones looking out there seeking our possible mate, which might be you. So it's best if we can find you. So putting yourself out in a visible way is good. The keys I'll get to in a moment is how you put yourself out there because once he does find you, there's a whole other level. So let me, let me, sorry, let me rephrase that. Let me, rearrange, let me rearrange that and start with that. So being visible means that he's going to find you. Now, yes, we like seeing pictures. It helps us to get a sense of what we're looking at. And doesn't that, it, it's not about being sexy or slutty, if that's what you prefer, or prim either. It's letting us see who you really are. Um, I have seen, yes, I'm on some dating apps. I've seen women who portray themselves as dating apps where they're so poised, perfect, perfumed, and made up, it's sickening. It's so not who they are because the thing is, all I do is meet them in real life and the facade will fall down. And ladies, gentlemen, you may have seen this before, maybe you like this with them. Personally, I think any ma man who wants a real relationship wants a real woman, not a pretense or a presentation that isn't real so pictures that show you in different appearances is nice casual and dressed up if that's what you have um, yes if it's something that shows your shape that's nice too if you work out yeah but the over-the-shoulder poise look with the hips stuck out to make you look real sexy it's entertaining certainly it's attractive but if that's what you're selling and that's the key that's what you're selling be aware of what you're going to attract also, you want a guy who can read. <laughs> I'm going to mess with this. You want a guy who can read, so write some important things in your profile, in your um, description, that will challenge him. Don't please write the standard stuff that one writes about looking for walks on the beach and, and uh, romantic, romantic getaways and all these sort of things, because it's boring. And yes, it may be true, but you can tell him that on your first date. When you are putting in things in your bio, your description of what you're about, be provocative. Get him to think for a moment, because some men out there don't think. Just say they're driven by something lower down, let's just say that. 
So when you put something in that provokes them and challenges them, they may just shut down and walk away, which is probably good for you, frankly, unless you really want that. So having something in the context of your profile that says some things about you that are provocative, that are um, maybe vulnerable, but also are um, challenging to him to step up. Whatever that is, I'm not going to give you the words, that's not up to me, that's up to you. But put things out there that will get attention and the right way, that will provoke response to you. That's key as well. Um, so pictures, description, hobby stuff like you can put those things you want. I'm going to give you a bit more information, but I'm going to then do a very big right turn. I can feel it coming already. When you are answering someone's knock, connection, invitation, whatever that is in the app you're using, the sooner you can accelerate it into meeting the person up in person, meeting the person in person, yes, I did say it that way, really the better. If you're going to go three or four weeks of just texting back and forth through the app, he's wasting your time and you're wasting his time. Um, he, unless you live in other cities, which may be possible, I would say move that up to phone calls at least. If you live in the same city, I would say it's time to meet up. One, two, three connections in, at most in the app and then say, let's connect, let's talk. Find somewhere public, find somewhere daytime, find somewhere economical too. It can be a walk on the beach, it could be a coffee date. And yes, I, I know people hate the idea of the coffee dates. Um, a friend of mine recently was asking a woman out and she wanted to go with the most expensive restaurant in town where it's gonna cost 300 bucks and meet a, par a person. That isn't what I recommend for your first date. Maybe a second or third once you know the person. But first dates, unless you wanna throw money around or maybe you're being a gold digger, is find somewhere, first of all, as I said, um, daytime, because it's easy to see the person, somewhere where it's public, because you wanna be safe on the first date. And somewhere economical, because you don't wanna feel like, or you don't wanna feel obligated, and you don't want him to leverage that. You know, if you want to pay your own way, you do that too. It's really about being um, safe and smart. So that's that's what I spent. Now, the right-hand turn I mentioned. <laughs> I would say it's a polite way. So I've given you some ideas about how to be on the dating apps, about how to present yourself, about what I recommend you communicate with. Here's the caveat. I would recommend you don't even go on the dating apps yet. Ladies, when it's very clear. I said at the beginning of this how the power you have as a woman is to be an attractor versus a hunter. Hunting is the masculine role. Ladies, when you're feminine, you have the strength and the ability to attract. So before you even think about signing up for the dating app, so if you're even saying yes to any of these um, um, what's the word for? Um, suitors, I highly, highly recommend you start by getting clear about what you want. Here's the key. You start with a clean sleep, a clean sheet of paper versus going the app and then browsing going, he could be the one I want. No, that's not the one I want, that's the one I want. That's not the way to do it. Because then you're being swayed by what you see versus knowing what you feel. Now ladies, let me be clear about this. You truly, truly deserve what, I, as I said before, you truly deserve what you, what you want. You really deserve the most amazing relationship. However, if you continue, um, sorry, if you don't, let me back up a second, sorry, I just went down like three forks at once and threw me off, my, my, my apologies. If you really get clear about what you want, that's good. How you do that is this way. Before you go into the apps, before you go into the dating sites, before you embrace meeting somebody, unless you are in a place where you like to just browse, peruse, date multiple men, sleep around, whatever that is, I highly recommend you get clear about what you want. What does that look like? Take time before you even go on these apps to spend time inside. Now, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna break down some of the components of my online program, so I'm letting you know ahead of time. I will share that what it is in the comments, but also I wanna make sure that you understand why I did the program in the first place, why I created it. I have learned over the years very clearly that what women in their feminine are best at doing is becoming a powerful magnet from here to attract what they want in life. That's one of the best secrets I can give you ladies, period, in any part of life. So when it comes to relationships, which is my speciality, how do you do that? It's important that you know what you want. So 
if that's writing down something, drawing a picture, having a vision board, making a mural, um, writing about it in a book or in a um, freeform diagram, whatever you want to do, a mind map even, is get clear about what you really want. Now I do something like that in my program, but I also have eight, seven other modules rather that do more than that. Um, because it's important that you really know what it is and own it inside. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about my program a little bit. That's the second week of my program. There's a week before that and there's, set, there's six weeks after that that really guide you through getting clear about what you want and also then how to embrace, embody and infuse your vision with life. So, that, excuse me, so that your magnetic pull is supercharged. Because ladies, you are magnetic. You have an amazing ability to pull to you what, that which you want. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you might pull to you what you don't want. Any experiences of that, ladies? I suspect there might be. But for the rest of you out there who want to get clear about what you want the right way, there are simple ways to do it. And, it's, and if you know these things, great. If you've watched The Secret, you know, or you watch The Law of Attraction, that already works great. My program is built for you to have what you want. And I'll, again, I want to tell you about the program here. I'm going to put it in the comments below, um, or in title rather. But that's really want to make sure you get clear is that before you even start the dating apps, before you even jump into the dating apps, take the time to really get clear about what you want. Because the dating apps can serve you after that. But again, get clear about what you want. When you go on the dating apps, be visible, but don't hunt. Be clear when someone likes you and looks, after, looks up to you or reaches out to you that you check out if that person matches what you want, first of all. They don't match, don't even bother. Accelerate the process to meet up and get to connect with them. Those four steps will get you in the right place. And again, as I mentioned, public place, daylight, cheap date type thing is why it's meant to do it for first date. And that's giving you all my secrets, well, not all of them. My online program gives you more secrets, but I hope it gets you started. So thanks for watching. Um, it was a bit clunky, it didn't come out the way I wanted, but I, this is live, so it has to be the way it is. I trust there's value in here for you. Again, I said at the beginning, you deserve the best, you are worth of having an amazing relationship. If you would like help in this area, please reach out to me. If you're looking for love in the wrong places, and I want to help you find the right places, please message me. If you know anybody who should watch this, please share it with them directly. Um, you can find the rest of my broadcasts on my website on variousselby.com forward slash V-L-O-G, the video blog. Or you can watch my own business page, which is variousselby.author on Facebook. Um, that's it. Hope this is a value to you and it, it gave you some ideas and some insights into what love can do for you and what you can have for love. Um, I'm here to help. I'll be back in tomorrow with another one. Topics come through as they come through. I hope this helped you. All right. Take care of yourselves. I'll be back in tomorrow. And... Uh, Remember that you deserve the best.